Daniel Negreanu. Dean Eggs. What's up? Kid Poker. Yep. All of, all of the above. You're the best poker player ever from Canada. Uh, it might be true. I might not. Did you play hockey? I played street hockey every day after school. Tennis ball, a stick that curved like this, totally illegal. Checking? No, not checking. It was street hockey. I mean, you played with a ball game. or a puck? Tennis ball. Yeah. Ball's kind of tough. And it, literally my stick was like that. Okay. Totally. So you didn't illegal. have dreams of going to the NHL? It wasn't going to happen. No. 5'9", about a buck 15 at the time. No, I wasn't even 5'9". I was like 5'5". Five, five. You were on the Lex Friedman podcast recently. I was. Are you ready for a real interview? Yeah, sure. Yeah. You started playing in the 80s? It was actually the mid, early mid-90s. Were you born then? Interesting. So when did you start playing with Americans? When did you start playing with real whales? Started playing in, <laughs> I started playing with Americans, uh, I want to say like 1997. So okay. I started to trek over here. And are you just drooling? What, I mean, what's your first impression? Of well, I, the first time I went to Vegas, I thought I was a big shot. And I brought 3,000 and figured I'd leave with 20 because, you know, I'm good. I'm the best. About 24 hours later, I uh, had no money left. You weren't studying a lot back then. I studied a very different way. We, didn't, we had an MS-DOS floppy disk. Mike Caro's Poker Pro that you'd stick in the freaking computer and you'd wait like six or seven hours and it would tell you who's a favorite. You, that's the way you studied. That was, that was the solver. Back I was back. way ahead of my time. You think anybody because else? Because you had that floppy disk. Yeah, nobody Who else, else had was... that floppy disk? The, the, the floppy disk was available, but I used the Who floppy disk. Who else had the floppy disk? P Mike Carroll, Poker Pro, Doyle Brunson had the floppy disk. Doyle Brunson had the floppy disk. Of course, Doyle. Of course, yeah. Doyle. Now you Chip know the, secrets, had the, floppy the disk. secrets of the game. Yeah. Okay, so when, when did you start winning in America? I started winning in America right around 1997. I won a uh, tournament against Eskimo Clark. Jesus Heads Christ. up. And I didn't make a deal, and everybody thought, who is this punk? I won the uh, Foxwoods Best All Around in 1997. So yeah. at this point, now you're, now you're getting excited because you're playing with Eskimo Clark, and people are telling you you should take a deal. Everyone's like, they couldn't believe I didn't take a deal. They can't, they can't believe you're not dealing. You're playing with Eskimo Clark. TJ yeah. Cloutier. TJ Cloutier is who I played in the, in the other one, him and Johnny World, John Hennigan, three-handed. Johnny World. And I did make a deal. The last deal I ever made was that time in 1997. TJ, we were heads up, and he said, you want to save 5000 And I said, okay. And then I beat him, and I felt so stupid. You weren't asking Nick P for a deal. I don't make any deals. I don't deal. You're not I'm, asking anybody for oh, a deal. I, no I was playing what. heads up for $8 million against Dan Coleman. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't, didn't even What if you're out chipped? The only offer I got was Haralibos, who was staking him, saying, do you want to just play for it all? I turned that down, too. No deals? No deals. I don't do deals. Danny, no deals? Danny, D D Danny no deals. That works. The selfie stick? Yeah. David Peters. Yeah. What happened? Well, listen, every once in a while, you need to stake your claim, right? Since that moment, David knows now if he three bets me or gets it in light, like the possibility the selfie stick is there, right? So since then, it's actually been psychologically like, I've, I own him ever since that stick throw in the corner. If he bad beats you again, would you I ever put hands to, on him? I have to give him a look and go like this. Just grab for something over here. He's a little shaken. He doesn't play a hand against me anymore. Are you Done. worried you might have taken it too far? No, no. I could have taken it a lot farther. Like, he didn't even get hit by any of the shrapnel. Yeah. Nothing. No chips hit his face, anything. Was there any thought of maybe I, I'm going to have to go buy a new selfie stick that's annoying or not really? I did on the way out, after I shot my thing, I did make a text to my guy and said, hey, I think we need a new selfie stick. David Peters reportedly was traumatized yeah. by the selfie stick incident. Rumor has it he may or may not want an apology from me. <laughs> Would you like to say anything to David while we're here? Don't mess with me, David. You understand what's possible, right? That selfie stick didn't hit you, but I have aim and I could have knocked that thing right across your head. So when you play against me, play nice, nice, okay? None of this all in shit. I just realized yeah, there's yeah, two yeah. ferns here. Yeah. <laughs>